are you? Good. So my name is Maria. I'm going to be your nurse today, okay? I'm just going to do a quick assessment on you, all right? Okay. So let me just go ahead and uh, wash my hands, put some gloves on, and then we'll get started, okay? Okay. All right, my dear. Can I see your left hand here? Thank you. Can you verify your first name and last name for me, please? Valentina Reyes. Okay, perfect. That's what I have here on the chart and on your band. And your date of birth, please. 0511-1998. Okay, I have that as well on your band and on your chart. And what is your MRN number? One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. So I also have that on your band and on the chart. Now, can you verify um, your allergies for me? Do you have any allergies to medications? No. Okay. No? What about to food or latex? No. Um, and what about to tape or environmental? No. Okay, excellent. So that's what I see in your band here too and in your chart. Okay. So everything matches. There's no discrepancies. All right, so um, I did get a report on your vital signs, so I'm just gonna read that to you, okay? So I have your blood pressure as 120 over 78, and that is normal. I have your heart rate at 72, which is normal as well. I have your um, respiration rate as 18. Um, that's normal within limits. I have your oxygen um, saturation at 99%, so that's good too. And your temperature is at 98.7 degrees Fahrenheit, which is also normal and within range, okay? Now, are you currently experiencing any pain? Yes, I am. You are? Okay. Um, where did, when did this start? About a week and a half ago. Okay. And where is your pain located? On my right breast on the right breast, and it's only on the right breast, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and is it in the specific location on the breast? Around the areola. Okay, and how long um, have you been having this pain for? About a week and a half. Okay, and a week and a half is when it started as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And um, can you tell me how the pain feels? Is it like a throbbing pain? Is it a sharp pain? It's a sharp pain. It's a sharp pain. And um, when you have this pain, how many? How is it? How long is the pain? It's about thirty seconds. Okay. And have you found that anything aggravates it or makes it worse? Um, I find myself when I'm doing too much physical activity for it to like spike. Okay. Um. And have you, do you find that anything makes the pain a little better? I just need to like stop in my tracks and like give it a second to go away. Okay. Okay. And um, have you taken any treatments for the pain at all? No painkillers or anything like that. Okay. And if you had to rate your pain from a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being the worst pain of your life, what would you rate it at? Like a 6, 6 and a half. Okay. Okay. So now um, what I'm going to do is assess and observe the patient's level of consciousness. Um, the patient does not seem to be in distress despite the pain that she described. Um, both sides of the body are symmetrical. Okay. Both sides of the body are symmetrical. Um, the patient has stated her full name and date of birth. Um, do you know where you are right now? In the hospital. Okay. And what is today's date? Today's September 11, 2020. Okay. And as of right now, who is the current president of the United States? Donald Trump. Okay. Excellent. So patient's level of consciousness is alert. She is aware of her person, she's aware of place, which is where we are, and she's aware of current time. Um, now what I'm going to do is just assess the equipment. So the first thing that I'm going to check
is just to make sure that you can your cannula, uh, nasal cannula, is working. Okay. So there are no kinks in the nasal cannula. Um, I do not see any signs of um, skin breakdown at the nares. Everything seems to be according. Um, and I'm just going to cross-reference my provider's orders with what we have here in the cannula. And the flow rate matches the provider's orders in my chart. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check your IV, okay? Just see your left arm here, okay? There doesn't seem to be um, any tenderness at the site of the IV. There's no erythema um, and there's no edema as well. Um, no skin breakdowns and there are no kinks in the tubing. And again, I'm just going to cross-reference and make sure that the IV solution that is hanging is according to provider's orders. Okay, and everything seems to be um, as according to, to the orders. Um, there is currently no urinary catheter present on this patient. However, if there was, I would go ahead and assess um, accordingly. Now, what we're going to do, Ms. Valentina, is I'm just going to inspect your, your scalp and your hair. Is that okay with you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect hair. There's even distribution throughout the scalp of hair. I don't see any alopecia or any signs of the sort. Um, the scalp seems to be intact. There's no presence of lesions, scabs, or rashes. Um, and there's no breakdowns as well. Um, the patient's skin color is even throughout. Um, there's no abnormal findings and the skin color does match the ethnicity of the patient. Um, there are no, no current wounds to assess in the patient at this time. Um, and I'm going to just palpate your, your skin, okay? So if you could Thank you. And I'm just going to pinch. It shouldn't hurt, okay? I'm just going to check your elasticity. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Ms. Valentina. So patient, patient skin turgo is good. It's excellent, the elasticity. Um, the temperature of the patient is warm according to um, our vital signs. Um, we are going to check the patient for edema at the extremities and the joints. So I'm going to first... Sorry, I want this on here. I'm gonna check. No edema found on the right arm. No signs of edema on the left arm. And I'm going to move down and assess the lower extremity, starting with the um, left foot. Okay. Great. And I'm also going to check for um, capillary refill, starting on the left foot, okay, capillary refill less than three seconds on the left foot, and capillary refill less than three seconds on the right foot, and now may I have your hand, thank you. Capillary refill less than three seconds on the left hand, and capillary refill less than three seconds on the right hand. Excellent. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and inspect your ears, okay? Just on the outside. So we're gonna start with the left ear. Um, skin seems to be intact. There's no signs of erythema. There's no breakdowns or lesions. Um, and there's no drainage from the left ear. Now, my dear, if you can turn your head, I'm gonna inspect. Your right ear, again, skin is intact, no lesions, no rashes, um, there's no erythema present, and um, no drainage as well. All right, now would you mind removing your glasses for me, please? We're going to just do a quick assessment on your eyes. So patients, pupils are equal, um, both eyes are round. And um, what I'm gonna do is see if the patient's eyes are reactive to light. 
So Miss Valentina, what I'm gonna have you do is look straight ahead and there's gonna be a light that comes to you by the side, okay? But just continue to look straight ahead. So I'm gonna take my pen light and I'm just gonna come in this way. Excellent, and the patient's pupils did constrict. And just continue to look straight ahead. I'm just gonna do it again on the other side, okay? Okay, great, and the patient's um, pupils did constrict again on the right and on the left. And then we're just gonna do a quick test. Um, what I'm gonna have you do is look straight to the pencil here, okay? And just follow the pencil with your eyes. Do not move your head. Great, thank you, Miss Valentina. And so the patient um, reacted to accommodation. Both the pupils constricted, the eyes came together, they crossed, um, and we are going to move forward in our assessment. So I'm just going to check your eyes. Okay, patient's sclera on both eyes is white, the color is white, and the conjunctiva on both eyes is pink and moist. Okay, all right, I'm just going to remove this cannula. I wanna inspect the nares, which is your nostrils, okay? Go ahead and just tip your head back. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so the nares are moist, um, they're of good color, and there is no drainage from the nares. All right, Ms. Valentina, and if you can go ahead and open your mouth and stick out your tongue for me. Okay, great, excellent, thank you. So the patient does not present to have any dentures. Um, there are no signs of lesions, sores, um, or redness in the mouth, and as well as outside of the mouth. The, mu the oral mucosa is pink and moist in nature. And the last thing I'm gonna have you do, Miss Valentina, is if you can smile for me. Okay, excellent, thank you. And uh, we did check for patient's facial symmetry, and that is uh, symmetrical. All right, Miss Valentina, well, I have finished my portion. Um, and then I'm just gonna hand this over to your provider. She'll come in and then you'll be able to talk with her, okay? Okay, thank you. You're very welcome, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Thank you.